Hello, welcome. Welcome to the outside. Okay, you don't want to see me, you want to see the bike. Yes, let's do that. It's all working, I've been out on it. And luckily, I'm lucky enough to live near quite a special road. It always comes up in the top 10 UK roads. And it's usually used by sort of motoring programs like Top Gear and, um, and all sorts and adverts. It's the road over the Black Mountain Pass between Llangadog and somewhere I can't remember. Actually, we'll move over to the computer in a sec and I'll show you where it is. But first of all, thanks very much for your comments on all the last video. It's very supportive. <laughs> I had to wait a couple of days before I even looked at them because I was a bit scared of what I was going to get. But thanks very much for all your comments. I'm glad a lot of you like the bike and absolutely no problem to those who didn't completely respect all your opinions. So, enough of me, the old memorial. Have a look at this, enjoy the bike, more bike soon, and more things, more fiddling, more bikes, more trips out, more problems. Check this out. Okay, where are we? Obviously, I'm in Wales, in the UK. So let's zoom in a bit, and I'll show you where we're going. What we're looking at is this road here. And these are the Black Mountains. And this is the Black Mountain Pass. So let's zoom in a bit. Now, all these strange words that looks like someone spilt a Scrabble set. That's Welsh. Llangadog. To Gwain Caigurwin. Llandilo. Llandosant. Mithvai. Estragunlais. I know it sounds a bit odd. That's Welsh for you. And this is the road we're going to take. Wonderful road. Be a lot of cars in it, a lot of people out for the day. This is the best bit right here. Have a look at this. We'll come over the top, then we'll go back again. And there's a nice cafe in Clandovery called the Owl's Nest, where we're going to get a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. Let's get on the bike. Beautiful sunny day here in South Wales today. All the bikes are out, but luckily plenty of room for me and Rusty Bertie. I'm still quite hesitant on the tyres. Everything's quite new. All the feeling of the bike is quite new. Because obviously I've had this Classic 350, but I've never actually ridden one before. I've got the Meteor, but um, obviously it's a new bike to me really. So everything's just a bit new but everything's working.
big hairpin coming up. This is the one they always do the sort of top gear shots around. That's probably why there's a photographer there on the right, ready to catch me flying off. ice cream van at the top there's all the cars there they've obviously had their run but we'll keep going and we'll go over the other side turning off. Now to prevent accidents this road has got a 40 mile an hour average speed camera system. Basically at the beginning of the pass and the end there's a camera and if you go through too fast it'll know. And there's one in the middle as well in case you stop for an ice cream. But luckily we're keeping it well below 40. Basically because you have to slow down for all the corners. Now this complete hillside is open and I can see all the way. Now these cars are dribbling along at about 30 miles an hour, so I reckon I can take them all. Hey, nice one Bertie. Just the van left, and I know this looks bad, but I swear I can see all the way, and I know we're okay. Oh, one more. Let's hope he doesn't cut this corner. Nice. There's a speed camera. how low we can go and there's a sheep of course there is A 
let's go back up the other side and uh, get an ice cream. Starting to get a really good flow with the bike now. Got a much better feel for these corners. So that was brilliant going over the mountain. Good training. Everything's sort of coming together. It's all feeling good. Obviously, the camera's sticking out about a metre, so I've got to be really careful with the oncoming traffic. But as long as they stay in the middle, I'm all right. So I can't use as much road as I want, but it's worth it so you can get a look at the road. Stop for a break. I think I'm going to scrape a peg now, so look out.
This is brilliant. Feeling so much happier with the bike now. It's, it just, just think about where you need to go and it just goes, it just does it. Absolutely brilliant. I'm really enjoying this. go what do you think of that hope you enjoyed that that was a brilliant day out i did about 110 miles but it didn't feel like it it was brilliant the bike worked perfectly definitely felt better as it went along it's, by the time you're watching this now it really felt like it was all coming together but probably a lot of that's in your mind because when you've got a new bike it takes a while to get used to it there's a few things i want to change and fiddle with but we'll talk about that in the workshop. But no nightmares. No big problems. Really goes well.